exercise alone may not be able to prevent the complete risk of peripheral arterial disease, as oftentimes if somebody develops peripheral arterial disease, uh, may have been, as mentioned earlier, due to um, lifestyle habits or genetics. However, exercise can certainly modify some of the worsening risk factors, um, including if patients can diet right and the ability to exercise, they could prevent a progression of certain forms of peripheral arterial disease. And additionally, patients who are suffering from claudication type symptoms as a result of PAD will often benefit from specific rigid exercise programs that will many times, according to the data and literature, really improve their overall uh, lifestyle. Um, however, patients with gangrene or patients with non-healing type wounds and significant peripheral vascular disease of the more uh, smaller blood vessels that go down to the feet. Unfortunately, exercise will really be a difficult for those patients and the damage in most of those times has already been done. 